Have you ever seen a coyote just wandering casually down a city street just as bold and confident as can be? They've got good reason to act that way because they're just about the toughest animal in the Sonoran Desert. I'm Rita Goldner and I'm an author and illustrator of children's picture books. I mostly write about and draw wild animals because that's my passion. So I have to do a lot of research for my job and I have put together some fun facts and some folklore stories about coyotes and also an easy to follow sketch. Here's the supplies you're going to need to do the sketch of the coyote. A red pencil that you used to make the original sketch and you can make a million mistakes with the red pencil. You don't erase them. Then you also need a black pencil but you don't need the eraser. Some people like to use a black magic marker instead of a black pencil and that's fine too. Then you need a printout of a reference photo of whatever animal that you're going to be sketching. And I've got a couple of samples here that I'm going to be getting to in the Sonoran Desert series. Today we're going to be talking about a coyote. The native people call him the trickster and he's one of the most well-known animals in the Sonoran Desert. To do the sketch, I have a picture here that you're going to be using as a photo reference. And all you have to do is find shapes on that picture. Familiar shapes like triangles, squares, circles, ovals, long rectangles, lots of different shapes and just take a black pen or sometimes I use a, a red pencil and then just find those shapes on your reference photo. You can print out this picture to use for your own sketch or you can use this finding the shapes method for any picture of your own that you have. Now the coyote, as I said, was the most well-known of the desert animals. And the reason we see so much of him is because he is adaptable. He has all different kinds of foods that he can eat and different places that he can live. So that's why he lasts and doesn't become an endangered animal. He can live almost anywhere from the Sonoran Desert, around the cactus, and even in big cities. He can eat almost anything. They eat roadkill, sometimes cactus fruit, mesquite beans that they find in the desert, seeds, plants, and sometimes small animals that they can catch like little rats, rabbits, birds, even snakes and some insects. They can even hunt down and eat grasshoppers and crickets. Now that you've got your shapes all outlined on your reference photo, start copying those shapes one by one onto your blank sheet of paper. Use a red pencil and if you make a mistake, if you make a million mistakes, don't erase them. Just use your mistake line as a guideline to make another red line that you like better. Another fun fact about coyotes is that they use their yipping and howling as a way to communicate with other members of the pack. They have a yipping and howling sort of a get ready song 
that they use right around dusk every day to tell the rest of the members of the pack to prepare for the night's hunt. In my drawing, you can see I made the red shape of the body too long, but I'm not erasing it. I'm just ignoring it and moving the shape of the shoulder and front leg back to where I want it to be and just ignore the long body underneath that shape. And after I get finished putting in all my red penciled shapes and adjust them to get them exactly the way I want, I'm going to go over them with a black pencil and make little corrections with my black pencil to make sure it's exactly the shape I want. Again, I'll remind you, don't erase anything. You can cross it out if you want to, but don't erase. There are a lot of native people's stories about coyotes as a trickster, trying to trick people or other animals and usually getting tricked themselves in the end. Here's a fun folklore from the Hickoria Apache Indians. A coyote came upon a group of men at a campfire. They hollered out to him, you're the biggest liar we ever saw. You always make trouble in the tribe and then you lie about it. Why don't you teach us this special skill, this power to lie, so we can lie successfully too? The coyote said he learned the skill from his enemy and he had to pay a big price for this skill. They asked him how much he paid and he said a good horse and it had to have a rope on it too. So one of the men in the group brought out a nice white horse. Coyote said, this is a pretty white horse. This is the kind I meant. It's like the one I paid for my power. Then he said, let me try it. If this horse doesn't buck, I'll let you know. And then I'll explain to you and teach you all about my power to lie. So they pushed him up on top of the horse and he had never ridden one before. So he stuck his claws into the horse's back and the horse started to buck. Then the coyote said, oh, this horse just needs a blanket. That's what's the matter. So they gave him a blanket for the horse. Then he put his head up to the sky and he pretended he was thinking. He said something, I hear a voice. The voice says my power needs a whip too. So they gave him one and he said, now I'm going to go around and see if this horse still bucks. I'll come back and tell you all about my power to lie. He rode a little ways away and then he shouted back, this is how I lie. I cheat people and I get them to give me good things, horses, blankets, whips, anything. Then he rode away. He went back to his home and he said to his wife, look, I found, I got this good horse for my enemy. He got off the horse, but he didn't know how to take care of it. He let the reins go and the horse galloped off and ran back to its owner. After you get your sketch exactly the way you want it in black pencil, right over your red pencil, you can, if you want, transfer it onto a piece of better paper or watercolor paper just by scribbling on the back of your paper with your black pencil all over the area where you've drawn. I'm showing you here how it works. And then that paper becomes sort of like a carbon paper. You can flip it over and then trace over your black lines, the ones that you like, and transfer the image onto a better piece of paper. Then you can color it in or paint it however you want and maybe add some brown gravel or some desert plants or some desert scenery in the background to complete your picture and frame it and hang it up. I hope you learned some interesting things about coyotes and that you're becoming a fan of wild animals too. Please subscribe to see more animal videos like this and click on the little bell to be notified whenever I post.